Good afternoon, everyone, uh, to the civil engineering students of uh, Negros Island. Uh, my name is Bright Henry Tevez. I'm the mayor of Bayawan City. Though I am not a civil engineer like you, uh, maybe some experiences that I had in running the city and previous experiences in life itself can help you shape or mold what would you plan to do with yourself and what you can do for the country. Well, let's talk about Bayawan City itself. Um, one year before I even planned to run in Bayawan, I made sure that everything was in place. As I've always done, I've always put big weight on planning itself and making sure that the human resource available will be able to implement it. That's why I surround myself with good people, such as my civil engineer, my city agriculturist, who is an agricultural engineer, my environmental planner, who is the city planning head, and everyone involved in Bayawan City. Well, for starters, when I came in, the first thing I asked was, what is the most deprived sector in society in Bayawan City? And the answer was farming and fishing. And how can we help increase their livelihoods without sacrificing you know, the environment itself. As we know very well that we should make sure that once we get out, the next generation who comes in should still be able to inherit an environment that will be able to support them. So with that, while we started a massive uh, fertilizer uh, farming subsidy to all farmers to make sure that they can really have the initial capital, we made sure that there was a balance. 10% of everything that they plowed or developed was reserved for permanent plants rather than you know, annual harvestable plants to make sure that irrigation, I mean erosion will be protected. When we also planned in developing the whole road network, we put the satellite engineering offices in place so that we would save a lot of fuel in going to and fro to make sure that it would be more efficient and there will be less uh, carbon emissions uh, on Mother Earth. We also made sure that uh, the water supply of Bayawan, which is the Danapa watershed, was reforested and continued and we also brought in endemic animals that we used to have, like the spotted deer, the warty pig, bleeding heart pigeon, hornbills, and what have you. It has been always our dream in Bayawan that while we increase the economic status for our people, we also make Bayawan City more beautiful. It is my dream that five, six, seven years from now, you can wake up in Bayawan maintaining a clean city, with good fish harvest and have coffee in the morning and look at the wildlife all around you. In my own opinion, before you even start as a leader, you have to have an inclusive uh, influx of ideas from the whole society in order to arrive at an inclusive mission and vision, thereby making sure that everyone is a stakeholder and everyone would rather have your programs and plans succeed than fail. It's also important that the human resource available are capable of implementing such plans and programs. If you plan well, you're already 50% accomplished. The next thing to do is make sure all the capable people are there with enough motivation from the leader to continue the work and to continue to monitor and rectify mistakes that might happen sooner rather than later. I will allow my planning uh, officer and my city engineer to continue to explain the details on what other innovations we're doing for Bio One City so that in our own small little way, we make this world better, we make our people's lives better, and slowly, 
LGU by LGU, we can infect the others and hopefully create a better world for the next generation. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, Bio One City is one of the agricultural cities in the province of Negros Oriental with the largest land area in the whole region of 69,908 hectares. We boast of the biggest also as to land area devoted to agriculture and Bio One City aims to achieve to become the model agri-eco-industrial city in central Visayas by 2029. As far as the sustainable development goal is concerned, Bio One City strives its best uh, that we have to install sustainable initiatives in the city as far as providing clean air, um, employment to our people, and advancing agricultural development in a most sustainable manner. So the environment is a primary um, concern of the local government unit. While we try to advance our economic development, we also make sure that our environment and ecology is protected. That's why we really uh, put our priority in the waste management program of the city. So Bayan One City in the region and in the country has the sanitary landfill project which really we ensure that our waste management practices is really aligned to RA9003, the Solid Waste Management Act of 2010. That's why in the city, our communities, our households do the segregation at source. So we reuse, we recycle our um, waste material so that we also uh, lengthen the life of our sanitary landfill. As far as the provision of clean water for our communities, the city is also into potable water drinking supply projects in partnership with our local water district so that we can have potable water in our communities. Level 3 water systems in all our barangays. So our investment is really into this. Um, infrastructure development also is uh, our priority so that we can develop our agriculture as well as our putting in place uh, support services to our farmers. We improve accessibility in the hinterland barangay so that farm to market of our products is really at the hem of all our development. So to ensure that our farmers get the most benefit of, out of their agricultural production. Secondly, uh, ecology as as, as uh, thought of is primary in the whole development, the fact that we are also into collaboration with the Talarak Foundation Incorporated. Recently, the local government has this memorandum of agreement for uh, a nature conservation project, saving and conserving our five endemic species of, of, of Negros Island. Uh, so we have the Danapa Nature Reserve Project together with Talarak Foundation Incorporated based in Bacolod City, Negros Occidental. So our 200 hectare area is really into making it a conservation site and ultimately make it as a protect, protected area for our Negros wildlife. And um, Bio One is also very concerned about um, reforestation programs. While we develop agriculture, which we know is one way or the other the cause of many environment problems, but we have to ensure that um, our sustainable agri-eco-industrial investments are, are considering in all our agricultural programs. The conservation of our soil and slow protection measures are also embedded in all our agricultural development initiatives. Um, with the local or the city environment and natural resources office, we, we have the reforestation program we'll, wherein we provide incentives to our partner organizations and individuals who plant trees and we pay incentives for every plant that they that they put in in their respective farms so that we can increase our um, our um, uh, forest cover in the city. Um, also, in the long term, we really try to make sure that while economic development is at the forefront of all that we do in the local government of Bayouan, be it in the form of infrastructure, be it in water conservation projects, be it in all of these uh, road improvements, we make sure that what we do is um, 
we protect our environment and we, we consider that at the end of it all, we will consider ecology, conservation, environmental protection. We also take pride that our people are also at the hem of everything, at the forefront of our development. Our, our priority consideration is that development plus sustainable uh, environmental protection would all lead to sustainable development as a whole. So that is why one cities um, priority for development and our primary concern in what we're doing in the local government of Bayouan. So infrastructure, with regards to infrastructure, our office actually uh, is really the one who really spearheaded in, in regards to the development of our infrastructure projects. Actually, our city invested uh, enough uh, no, uh, resources in, in, uh, in purchasing our equipment, which is, we know that it is, all, it is always the backbone of our development. So why we need to have equipment? Because we need also to develop areas where uh, potential uh, products, uh, especially uh, from farm to market roads, which are going to be developed, so, so that we can address fully on our economic side. But environment is actually the most important thing about our city. Uh, besides, uh, we. In terms of implementation, uh, our sanitary landfill is, is being implemented by administration. Why by administration? Because we feel, we feel that we really need to address that environment issue. Uh, in terms of water sanitation, we invested also uh, 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 a project or a, a, a system which actually uses a very low cost uh, technology so that we can address our water, water sanitation. And besides, we are, I think we are the most visited city in, in the country today with regards to water sanitation project. So strategically, our department uh, 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 invested or uh, strategically uh, put satellite offices on our strategic areas. We have 28 barangays. What we, are, what we did is actually we, we proposed Actually, we already uh, uh, started the operation of our, of our satellite office. We invested Lima 5, and then each satellite has cluster, cluster barangays with being, uh, with being uh, implemented. So those equipments actually being di divided into five, five, uh, five groups so that each satellite has a complete set of equipment so that we can address automatically our, our project. Now, in terms of uh, materials or in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, construction materials, we see to it that uh, we practice those renewable materials such as the scaffolding. We don't anymore so much use about uh, lumbers. We use you use now uh, steel forms so that it can be recycled, recycled so that we can we will not will not ever jeopardize our trees in our in our area. As far as infrastructure support services, also mm -hmm. because. Of course, economic through agriculture is the priority concern of the city. Uh, we, we have also installed a lot of these um, road development projects so that we increase accessibility. We also increase the, 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 um, the means of our people to really um, step up on the marketing of agricultural produce. That's why the six major routes of the city has already been installed and we are already into um, looking into improving secondary routes so that we can have an interconnection and linkages of each of the places that we see as those um, agricultural producing with the highest potential of farming and they can be able to produce more for our city to supply the demand of our locality as well as also provide excess uh, surplus can uh, produce to the rest of our adjacent local government units. So, utilities for infrastructure, water, electricity, telecom is also in the pipeline of the local government. So that we, uh, as far as our vision is concerned, industrialization comes when all of these things are also present, so that we can also attract investors coming in. So. As an LGU, we also uh, tap opportunities for public-private partnership agreements you know, with the private sector because most of the capital for all the things that we want in the city as far as economic development is concerned, the private sector is there to, to, re to be ready or ready to pour in resources to make these um, projects be realized in the next year. So, so far, we have four or five uh, PPP projects already in place.
So Pure Good is there, the ACE Medical Center is there, and all others. Apart from that, uh, because we're talking of sustainable development here, our people, our people's capacities are also looked into and the local government is trying to put in place also initiatives. We want our young through the sports development program be part of the holistic uh, development of the city so that we have sports development program for our youth, uh, martial arts and all of these things so that their skills and potentials can also be developed. Arts and craft and all of these things. We also want our um, the rest of the members of the community, the women sector, the farmers, the fisher folk, and their organizations being able to help out by the city in different um, means of economic livelihood projects. We provide financial assistance for their several enterprises. So that's how uh, the city of Bayawan is. And um, we always really prioritize while we develop economically. We take pride also that we are very concerned about environmental protection as a whole. So at the end of the day, we when we speak of Bayawan's development, it's really agri-eco-industrial development, taking into consideration sustainable development goals as our commitment to the global community.